Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is Gundam Breaker, and I'm going to start a little bit differently today. Um, as you can see, the Zaku bobblehead is no more. I am currently using a different mix of parts. Um, the color scheme is kind of, sort of, vaguely in honor of Kamen Rider Gaim, which will be ending soon. But... At any rate, I'm using a Kubli Mark II head, 9 stars, a 2-star Master Grade Shars Zaku head, which would look even more ridiculous if it were not for the Unicorn Gundam Destroy uh, mode legs, because, like all post Shars counterattack mobile suits up until you hit, you know, the second Universal Century, Unicorn's kind of big, so it balances out the Zaku torso a little bit. It just looks like a pretty barrel-chested guy. Um, using Strike Freedom Gundam arms... And I got a decent set of High New Gundam uh, backpack. I just wanted to say wings, but oh, I hadn't noticed how the center strut of the backpack kind of intersects with the uh, Kubli's uh, tail. It's funny. Um, and I g got a slightly better GN Sword 3 than you will see, uh, see me get on Monday. And I'm currently using its rifle mode just to keep my weight down. And a High New Gundam shield. But the other thing I wanted to show you before we get started is I have also got dropped a really good set of modules here. Um, I am using a pair of reactive EX defenders. I get extra EX charge when I guard, and I get plus 5,000 defense to both regular and beam attacks. I'm using two of those. I found out by looking up some FAQs and help for, uh, from various viewers that the vector nozzle... Stop, uh, stops recoil. So, not flinching, but you can't get knocked back, and there's a better piece that can do both. Um, the X Regenerator gives me 10% uh, faster EX charge and 75.75% uh, life regeneration. The Biosensor, as a couple of people tipped me off to, offers both movement speed and step speed, but it is not compatible with the magnet coating, so as far as I can tell, the biosensor is the better of the pair, so that's what I'm using. You can only, there's a limit one to one of those, so with the high new gun and backpack, I move pretty quick, so next is the reactive absorber, which gives me 10% health back uh, from all the damage I do, and another 5,000 armor to both regular and beam. The extra 15,000 armor has really freed me up to be able to uh, use slightly less def uh, well-defended parts so that I can get as much melee power as possible to pump into that hyper sword. And as you can see, I'm at melee power 2543. There are parts that will make it better if I can find them. Next is the X Hand Blaster, which EX Charge... Plus 2.5%, I think, under specific circumstances, and I'm not entirely sure what they are. I think you have... It, it's when you shoot things, which, since I'm not doing a lot of shooting, I should probably change out at some point. And lastly, Luna Titanium Armor, which is uh, giving me an extra 10,000 hit points. In most of the stages I've done, they can barely even damage me, except for a couple of really nasty bosses. One of which is in the stage we're about to do. I accidentally took Mission 53 while I was grinding, not paying attention to what I'd already done. So we're going to do that one first to get it over with, and just to make sure that I've done them all. I think I've done them all anyway. If I've missed any and you want me to double back to them, it'll be kind of a route at this point if it's too far back, but I'll do it. But yeah, like I said, a vaguely, very vaguely Kamen Rider Gaim-inspired color theme. But more in the orange arms slash kachidoki arms uh, color scheme, because I'm just not as big a fan of uh, Kiwami arms, so. It's okay, but looks way too much like Kamen Rider Forze, actually. So that's what we're doing. You're going to see me use Hyper Sword a lot because I love it and it's handy. This is a survival stage, so I have no help, and that's actually very helpful here. But yeah, you've, you can see how little damage that you've done to me. Now, draw them all into this lovely little choke point, and... Uh, and there we go. Now, here comes the Gundam. And you're going to see me spam the living hell. 
out of the uh, square triangle combo because when it hits it does a lot of damage and it is very likely to knock parts off so that is like my favorite combo ever at the moment okay there's a Zeta at the end of the hallway we're gonna go right for it almost ready there we go oh you just had to move didn't you well, it doesn't always work. Let's try the high new funnels and see how they do. As somebody pointed out to me, the uh, funnels do damage based on the number of stars they have. This is like a 6-7 star, so it should be fairly powerful. Can I kill it before it reforms? I can. It is not one of the bosses, though, that causes everything else to disappear, so... I've got to pummel some Kyakushikis. And Kubelis. And apparently Gundam Mark II's, judging from the legs I just got. But yeah, like I said, you know, gonna spam that one because, well, you saw it's doing 8,000 damage to stab, so can't really afford to not do that. Now, what's next? Oh yeah, this room. Okay. Okay, now... Send the funnels after that while I s stab at things around here. I'll thank you to stop knocking my parts off. Okay, let's just drag them all over here. It's a survival stage, so if I die, mission failed. I have done that once. Just once. But it has been done. That was several upgrades ago, though, so we're all hoping for the best. By we all, I mean me, so... I will probably need my shield arm back, though, to, uh... There it is. Let's swap funnels with High New Gundam. Oh, let's... Let's Gaia's. It's quite a crowd I have to fight through to get the thing. But, as you can see, that wasn't too big a deal. I even took out half the crowd with a couple of good stabs afterwards, so... Gaios Gage is empty, but health is full, and all my EX moves are full. So we're going to dash right through, lure them all in. And wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Hyper Sword! Funnels out. Yeah, I'll have to see if I have any other EX charging modules because like I said I don't do a lot of uh, rifle work at this point and I don't think the funnels count so that one EX charger is not that useful hmm well let's draw them all in again in hyper sword because yeah because it makes my life much easier. Gaios is charged, so... But there's actually three aces in this little corridor, and I'm going to hold my charge for the first one, and then for the second two I'll bust it out, because I'll bust it and Gaios out for the sake of expedience. Gotcha. Now, back over here. Now, here it comes. God Gundam and Master Gundam at once, so... But as you can see, I've done pretty good damage to them. There. So yeah, I'm back to doing primarily stab work, but it's working for me. And that is, of course, the uh, final Arbiter. Am I surviving? Am I winning? I am doing all of those things. So, plus again, you know, it's the Dynasty Warriors thing. I prefer stabbing. I prefer stabbing to shooting. So, if I'm comfortable, and the enemies are dead, and the enemies are largely dead, then it's not a thing.
Also, again, that lunging stab is more likely to knock parts off of something than a lot of other moves I can do, so... Double-O Gundam legs, which I may customize into Gun Archer legs. I'd like a good set of those, even if I never use them. Because, yes, Double-O Gundam legs can be scratch-built into Gun Archer or uh, Gundam Virtue legs. Okay, come get it. Okay, one more group of these guys. Funnels out. Okay, and now killed him a little too quick because there's going to be one group of fairly strong guys here. Right behind me, in fact. And they all have some pretty good ranged attacks, so if you don't go all out against them, it can be annoying. They're not going to kill me, but they're going to pin me in a corner and keep me still for an obnoxiously long time. Okay. Well, I got one part out of three of them, which actually is not that bad compared to how this often goes. So, Unicorn Destroy Arms, probably not any good, but I'll take them anyway, so. And now for the, I believe, the final bosses, which will be, yep, Lurge Enemy. Yes, a Strike Freedom and a Double O Gundam, so. An improved Strike Freedom backpack would be awesome. If I could get like an 8 or 9 star of that, I'd, I'd take it, but. I should probably go, yeah, let me go after Strike Freedom first, because once, once Double O loses its first life bar, it goes to Trans Am, and it actually, at that point, has an attack that poses a threat to me. So that's not something I want to deal with, with Strike Freedom running free. I'll take that back, thank you. But yeah, look how fast my health is regenerating. This thing does not... In this form, it does not pose any threat to me at all. I could let it sit here and beat on me, the both of them, in their first form, and not feel the effects. But it's this form, where, you know, as you can see, it takes me a few seconds to recover from what it's doing to me, so... A little caution is good here. Funnels... oops, funnels aren't out because I lost my backpack. But I got it back. I'll take that back, thank you. Funnels out one more time. I can't even really see what I'm doing at some points, but... Strike for, uh, Freedom is down. Okay, I will collect its bits, which is just a body. Now... The lunge is not always useful on large enemies and on... Okay, now we go all out. But the lunge is not always useful on big stuff, because occasionally you will go right past it. Much less likely in Gaios mode. Bye now. Yeah, because when it uses Hyper Sword on me, you know, 1200% of its damage potential. So that's something you need to watch out for. And so I do. Let's see what we got out of that. Probably nothing I particularly need at this point, but... Norma cleared. I forget what the decals were, but I got them. And a Wing Beam Saber, Double O Head, Gyarados Resin Head, Strike Freedom Body, Freedom Body, Double O Body, Unicorn Destroy Arms, Red Frame Arms I don't really need, Double O Legs I want to turn into something else. I'll try the Legs of Zeta. Mark II Legs I don't really need anymore. Mm, try the Beam Gatling. Don't need Burning Gundam Torso. Oh, another GN Sword 3. It might be a 4-star if I'm super lucky, so let's try it. A couple of Strike Freedom rifles, but I have a 9-star on those, so... Nah. 